she would never have more than one. You know, she was preparing to be an actress even then. She was watching her figure. Oh, imagine only having one grand friend. Oh, Masha! I almost forgot to tell you. She's coming out here today. Masha's coming? She called? I forgot to tell you. No, you purposely didn't tell me. It's one way you make life unnecessarily complicated. I forgot to tell you <laughs> I am bipolar and I have incipient dementia. <laughs> well, what time is she coming? In an hour or so. You know, it, it only came out, I want to say, in about 2013, and it had a really successful run off and on Broadway. And um, I think it's good if, I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing tried and true theater, you know. But uh, I think it's also important to get new works into the mix. And um, I didn't know of anywhere in the area that was doing it, so I thought it'd be a good on that. Darling, Vanya, sweetest Sonia, how wonderful to see you. How I missed you all and this beautiful house. Oh, Spike, darling, would you go to the car? I've got to bring in my Snow White costume. Okay. And don't forget the shepherd's crook. Okay. Women, huh? <laughs> sweetest Vanya, dearest Sonia, how I missed you. Oh, you both look the same. Older, sadder, but the same. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful to see you, Vanya. Oh, and, and you too, Sonia. Yes, hello, I'm easy to miss. You are. I often miss you. I'm in a play or a movie, and I think, my dear Sonia, and I think, oh, I miss her, I must call her. And then I get called back to the set, and months go by, and I forget um, to call her. I also just really love the script. I mean, it's incredibly smart and funny and... Uh, beyond that, it, it deals with a lot of, of issues that that we all deal with, you know, like change and how things change over time and how you deal with the way things used to be as a kid and now you're an adult and they're not that way anymore. What do you do about it, you know? And um, in addition to that, there's a whole bunch of, you know, dysfunctional family issues <laughs> and I think it'd be hard for anybody to find a family on this earth that doesn't have their fair share of things to deal with, so. No. I mean, I think of it, but I have too much free time. You see, there's so much that I could fill the free time with that I just can't decide. So I do nothing. I am a wild turkey. I am a wild turkey. <laughs> How alarming. Um, it just really spoke to me on a lot of levels. There's a lot of um, theater jokes in the script, if you will, but you don't have to to be a theater person, to enjoy the script. Oh, misery and mystery descends upon me like a thundercloud, pregnant with rain and Jupiter's arrows. Oh, the terrible burden of true prophecy of my unwanted yet unstoppable prelude. Look out! Look out! <laughs> All around us is lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, the omelet is a failure. I crush it beneath my foot. The libation mares bring guts and entrails, and parents' children chopped up and served in shepherd's pie. <laughs> Something tastes wrong with it. Little wonder. Next time you won't go killing Agamemnon, will you? He's already dead. My car needs to be inspected. How can I keep all these facts in my head when I see Colossus and Calamity here lumbering up the walkway? Oh, misery and mystery and magical mystery tour. <laughs> oh, beware the future. I know you will not abide me. You ignore me because I am not tall. But I am right. I 